Hello guys, this is Sahil Kamboj and welcome to my YouTube channel Data Science Story. In today's lecture, we will see what we exactly do in machine learning, somewhat mathematically and largely theoretically. This lecture might be boring who are pros in machine learning, but I have to do this basics for the basic learners. So guys, what is statistical learning or say machine learning? We are going to learn this by through some different examples. Okay, so let's take our first examples. Suppose we have a advertising data set, sale of products in 200 different markets along with advertising budget for the products in each of those markets for the three different medias. One is TV and radio and newspaper. So the business problem here that our client has given to us is that their company is not able to directly increase the sales of the products. They want us as a data scientist to analyze these three different media advertising budgets that is TV, radio and newspaper with respect to the sales so that we can determine the different kind of patterns or relationships and ultimately give them recommendations based on our analysis. In other words, guys, our goal is to develop an accurate model that can be used to predict sales on the basis of three media budgets. Uh, so guys, in this setting, our advertising budget is the input variable and uh, the output is our sales and I want to let you know that the input variables is also going by different names like predictors they are also called predictors also called the independent variables because they are not dependent on any other thing and features also some sometimes also called features or variables and the output variable that in this case is our sales is often called the response and the dependent variable. Why it is so that it is called dependent variable because it depends upon our independent variables that is our x. Okay. So guys if we want to put this uh, entire business problem into a mathematical equation we can say that y is equal to the function of x plus may e so what is f here f is the unknown systematic information or you can say that the relationship between x and y and e is our the error term okay and uh, in real practice guys the function f that connects the input variable to the output variable is always unknown you have to predict you have to estimate the f and why you want to estimate the f there are uh, basically two main reasons that you wish to estimate f the one is prediction and the another is inference so we will discuss these two uh, one by one okay so there is a very fundamental difference between what is prediction and what is inference prediction Guys, in this sec setting, you know, the F is generally treated as a black box uh, in the sense that we are not uh, exactly concerned about the what are the relationship, exact relationship between the X and the Y. F is generally treated as black box. Okay, guys, let's take uh, an other example, uh, a data sets that have the input variables like x1, xp and x1, x2, x3, xp up to xp as the characteristics of the patient's blood sample that can be easily measured in the lab okay and y is the variable or the output variable uh, and it is the patient's risk for a adver severe adverse reaction to a particular drug so in this setting the company is not interested in obtaining a deep understanding of a relationship between each individual characteristics of the bloods or predictors and the response that is our output. Instead, the com 
company simply wants an accurate model to predict the response using the predictors this is an example of modeling for prediction and now let's uh, move ahead with the, what is inference what is uh, modeling for inference in modeling for inference our entire goal is not necessarily or uh, just to make predictions for why instead instead we want to understand the relationship between x and y here the function f is not treated as a black box we actually want to understand what kind of relationship uh, the uh, the x and the individual x and the y are sharing with each other suppose we want to understand the questions like which predictor is, is most associated with our output variable what kind of relationship the response and the predictors are sharing or uh, you say that can the relationship between y and the each predictor is linear or somewhat complex so these kind of questions that we want to understand that we want to answer in case of modeling for inference so i hope you fully understand what is prediction and what is inference so in practice we generally uh, do modeling for both matlab means we want to understand uh, means we want to predict a model that is high accurate in nature and also we want the inference that we want to generally understand what kind of factors that are affecting our output variable so in last i want to tell you that depending upon our ultimate goal it is whether prediction or inference or the combination of two different methods of estimating the function that is f are used okay so uh, and other thing that is to notice here that if you use very simple model like linear models it is very or uh, relatively they are simple and uh, they are more interpretable okay that you can easily find uh, imply the inferences but if you use in contrast if you use highly non linear approaches they definitely give you good predictions accuracy but at the cost of inference that so that's all that i have for you in this lecture or in this video we will meet in the next video till then please subscribe to my channel data science story and see you guys bye bye